But Tobias, we're back in the van. We are, we're, we're, indeed. Was it the same van we were in last year? Yes, one of the two. Uh, today we have a, a Jeep as well. So uh, yeah, we I think we can just about see the Jeep from yeah. here. It's a very, very cool Jeep. It's for sale, 50 grand, and you get all the new stuff. So if you're looking for a bargain, uh, come to see us. So did anyone sleep in the tent last night? Uh, we didn't find anyone in the morning, so I, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, no empty beer cans in and there. No, right. exactly. We uh, empty beer cans maybe, but uh, no sleepers. Okay. So, so what have we got? Yeah, so we have um, uh, the field series or field system is now complete with OP1 field and TX6, and this accordion bag uh, last year we said, oh, you could put maybe uh, uh, cables or uh, the guide, but we had something in mind for you yeah, guys. Of course. So I'll put that back. Um, a few days or weeks ago now, we announced CM15, the condenser microphone, uh, a super cardioid uh, mic with a one inch cap uh, capsule, uh, a, a, s a mini XLR um, uh, output, a line output, and a uh, USB-C output. Uh, battery powered, of course, and it can also be charged or run off of uh, phantom power. Uh, and all these outputs output uh, simultaneously. So, and there's no real settings. You just um, turn it on and go, basically. You have to set the gain switch depending on what your scenario is. So if you're recording drums, you might want to go to the lowest setting. And if you're doing other stuff, you adjust as needed. Uh, for, uh, for Zoom calls, uh, flip the little, little kickstand, put that out. Uh, uh, connect your USB-C to your computer and you're good to go with interviews or simple, simple. Um, uh so is the capsule design your own design or is it an off-the-shelf capsule you found? It's uh, American made. Um, now I forgot the company. We, we announced it. Uh, Peluso. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's, it's well known um, and we try to source the best. So um, we, we've tried other capsules, other uh, yeah, I, that didn't meet our our, um, our needs. So we went with this, and we're super happy. Um, it's up to you to do the testing and uh, comparing, but uh, we present this tool for you. And I, I saw it on a stand outside. Exactly. With uh, two of them mounting. Is that your own stand design as well? It is. Uh, so this little tripod stand is, is uh, actually a product. So it comes with this adapter here for uh, a normal thread. And then this uh, stand is, is uh, uh, sold separately. We have a kind of an XY grid uh, stand outside. I don't think that's going to be a product that was too expensive to make. So it's not going to be, um, yeah, we, we'll see if, if that is going to be a product. But it's, it's, uh, we do 10,000 10, prototypes all the time. So we, some, some uh, stuff make, make it to production and some don't. It did look like a very nice stand though. Yeah, 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 of we'll, course. We'll have a look at that when we yep. go outside and look at the desks. Uh, exactly, the desk is out there as well. So um, finishing the, the Trinity here is um, a TP7. Yeah, uh, this is the one I heard about. I thought. I yeah, so this was this. announced yesterday. So it's been, been very well received. Um, right off the bat, if I hold with my right hand here, I can um, uh, use my thumb to uh, turn it on, even if it's off. And now I can record uh, into the built-in microphone and use my uh, uh, do voice memos. And then I turn it off and it's off again. So that saves a lot of battery and uh, it's a super handy feature. Turning it on uh, by uh, flipping the switch here or uh, turning the switch rather. And uh, now I have my, my interface, my uh, record, play, stop. Um, I can scroll, uh, scrub the tape reel. I can uh, jog through the audio and, and scrub here. Uh, I have a little meter here to indicate levels. Uh, so the, the first thing that strikes your eye is, yep. is the rotating drum. So this must put a little bit of strain on the battery. What's the battery life like? Uh, we we said eight hours before uh, internal testing, but then we went with seven hours officially. Um, so that was the latest measurements. So seven hours is in the current guide. I've been part of the editorial team. So I'm not an engineer, I'm a, a writer and a teacher basically. So 
uh, seven and is hours. That with uh, internal battery? Yeah, exactly. And how do you recharge it? Over USB-C. And this is also uh, the audio interface uh, and also for, uh, for MIDI. Uh, so you have three analog stereo TRRS, uh, two-way jacks. So this is actually uh, can be used as inputs for multi-track recording and also outputs for, uh, for stem playing, uh, playing back stems. If so if you use them as inputs and you've yes. got three inputs, how do you mix between them? Uh, good, uh, good question. They are uh, recorded as uh, multi-track wave files. Ah, okay, so is that in BWF broadcast wire format? Ooh, that that's a question that we have to that I don't know. But uh, we have all the we have twenty five people here in the team. So okay, we'll find someone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you connect it over USB C uh, to a computer, you'll get uh, those. Uh, input outputs as well. If you connect it straight to TX6, though, you get all the six stereo outputs sure. or inputs ha rather here, uh, and can then record your six stereo uh, multi-track files. Um, and some of you know the OB4, our magic radio. So this is a, a magnetic wheel here, um, and we've learned some. So I usually show off going into the menu and showing off the, the very nice uh, tactile feedback, haptic feedback here. And it's, it's of course, not visible, but um, we, we put so much passion into everything we do, and, and it's just a lovely experience to, to, to operate this device. It makes you want to hold it, just looking at it. it. It's very, very cute and appealing, I've got to say. Thank you so much. I mean, uh, we've had a very good uh, response with with this product. Uh, last year with TX6, that was the form factor that we were then going to use for the other series. Yeah, I remember asking at the time, can the TX6 record? Yeah, and at, I think at the time it couldn't. Uh, we were hinting uh, USB recording, and then we updated it. So yeah. you can get a stereo recording over USB um, with a USB thumb drive. But with this, you can get up to eight tracks, basically. So, um, oh, sorry, with six, six tracks, uh, 12 mono, mono. So, and actually, I have this setup here, uh, just laying at the table. Uh, as a, an example, DJ setup, um, and this has been recording our um, our uh, interview. So I'll send that transcription file. Um, that introduces the idea of transcript. Exactly. So over over Bluetooth, I can connect to the free uh, companion app. It's available for both uh, iOS and Android today, I think, or very soon. Um, and it's based on the OpenAI um, Whisper uh, okay, protocol. Yeah, you know Whisper. The guys who make ChatGPT, uh, they also have the voice recognition software called Whisper. And that is something we use for uh, detecting English so far. So, f so far. Uh, when I speak Swedish, it says speaking in a foreign language. <laughs> and it, when, when there's laughter, it says laughter. So <laughs> okay. it's detecting it, and it's just up to us to implement it in the future. And like Open... OP1 OG. We've been updating that for the last 10 years. This is kind of the next decade for us. So um, um, we will we're happily introduce this and it will be a delightful journey uh, together with you guys to see how you w uh, operate this and, and what features are so going to come. So when you had it in mind, what was your target use for this? What did you expect it to be used for primarily? I mean, this is this is our premium product range, so the the field series or field system. Um, we do still cater to, to um, entry-level uh, operators, so uh, pocket operators are still available. Um, but we don't want to exclude people just based on money. That goes the other way around us as well. So we don't want to, oh sorry, I'm just cleaning uh, some dust. Uh, that goes the other way around as well. We don't want to ex exclude or limit our uh, uh, creative uh, ambition and we are in our uh, um, uh, uh, engineering ambition so we want to be able to create uh, the best possible products we can and put uh, a lot of research and a lot of development into new products that aren't this existing but basically a portable recording studio in a pocket-sized format professional quality 
Um, and with this little bag, I'm good to go. Um, I don't want to lose this bag because it's, it's highly valuable. Yeah. So, um, but it's, it's super uh, uh, flexible and uh, it, it will fit a lot of needs, I think. So there's always a balance of need, uh, desire and want and budget. So if all those three come together, these are the tools that you might want to consider. I can see it working perfectly as a desktop recorder. So if you're doing an interview, put that down and there we go. Exactly. Um, what about the side? It's got a, a jog function on the side. It's yep. got that, yep. that tab. Does that uh, operate when it's recording? Uh, come again? Does that operate? Does this um, operate anything whilst you're recording? Uh, let's try it out. So I put it in record mode, press play. I don't think so. No. Exactly. So that doesn't do anything. Okay, that's good. Because I, I was just thinking, if you put it in a bag yep. and it hits this, it's right. going to interrupt the recording. Right, right, but right. But if it's disabled, yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. I can go off the record and uh, say some secret stuff. And, uh, you know, okay. we always do stuff. So keep, it, keep posted or keep yourself posted. And then we go back on, on, on the record. And that secret part wasn't recorded. But that's, that's it. And now, after the recording, I can then uh, scrub through. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm learning as I go because this was just announced. And uh, like we said, there's a lot of features that will come, but the basics are there. So th your handy multi-track tape recorder. Excellent. And that's all available on the website now. So people yes, can correct. See. And um, from today, we say about five to seven weeks until release. So um, pretty soon still. Okay, yeah. and while I'm here, and I saw the desktop yes. side, and this is the first time I've got to see them actually in person. Um, have they changed since the announcement? Is there accessories that are available now? Actually, this is uh, just a custom uh, thing made from the system. So this is not the desk that we sell as a product. This oh, okay. is a, a custom, you know, we took some rails and we took some uh, uh, boards and we made a, a, a long table. We are, I, I've seen some people come and, and test the, the, I don't know, right. durability or, or wiggle ability. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know the word. Uh, but this is, this is just a one-off uh, uh, thing that we make. And we also missing some of the, I forgot the word, but the crossbars or something. Yeah, the struts Yeah, or yeah, right. So uh, don't judge the desk based on this, but you get an idea at least. So this is part of the system. We can build uh, bookshelves, cases, the sofas, anything really in this system. Okay. So, so uh, yep. have you got the desk here, or is that? Uh, I believe not. That, this is what we have. Just um, a, that's the yeah. custom one. Okay. But we can we can take a look at it. And yeah, uh, let's let's go and have a look. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, we're portable. <laughs> oh yeah, we we can go <laughs> as we usually are. So uh, here's our our demo table. Here's the the Jeep where we demo stuff. So this is the system. And uh, I, yeah, it's it's made uh, out of um, aluminum. Let's see who can talk about this more I think than it's okay. I. We we can get an idea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, with this, uh, you can clamp on stuff. You can you know uh, uh, design your your setup as as it would fit your needs. Um, and the thing, the reason why we did it was because, you know, we, we set at, sit at desks all the time and have been so for a few years and we've developed this for ourselves. So we thought might as well p make it into a product and, um, and try to sell it. And uh, yeah, so that's the field desk. And we, we did get a comment here from someone trying to sell us the field feel, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know much about the memes about us, but of course there are, <laughs> there are such stuff. That's cool. <laughs> Excellent. Well, many thanks for sharing with us. Oh, for sure, for sure. Take and it, uh, yeah, thank you so much for for listening and uh, do try out the get your hands on them and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks a lot. All the best, man. Cheers. Thank you.